Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. Now, there are a number of ways to create a slideshow in Premiere Elements. There are at least four of them. My favorite among at least the slideshow makers is the one located in the organizer. So we're going to just jump over to the organizer. The organizer, of course, is your media management tool. And with it, you can keep track of all of the video files and the photo files and audio files that are on your hard drive. And there are a number of great tools within this program. To get to the slideshow creator, you just go over to the create button here in the upper right hand corner and click it. It's right at the top. But before I create it, I'm going to just go over. I created an album in which I've gathered a number of photographs. There we go. Childhood memories. And this is what I'm going to include in my slideshow. So I'm just going to select them all, just drag and lasso the whole group and then go over and select create slideshow. Now the slideshow in the organizer can include video as well as still photos. It takes a moment to generate. We're using all still photos in this particular one. And there it is. It has generated its preview. And in fact, you can hear it in the background. It's added some music. Let's pause it here for a second. It's very nice. And as we've explored in other tutorials, there are templates you can use to create different. If you just select themes here, you can see there are a whole catalog here of themes you can apply and the program then automatically applies effects. It applies transitions, even applies music. You can add uh, or select your music or apply custom music from any place on your hard drive. But that's for another tutorial. Let's assume we're happy with this and we want to output this to a video project in Premiere Elements. To output it, we just go over to the export button here in the upper right hand corner and select the option to output to a local disk. So we could have gone directly to YouTube or Vimeo, but we're going to output our file here to a file on our hard drive. And I'm going to browse to a spot on my hard drive. I've created a little folder that I've called slideshow. So I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to use the preset for 1080p. That's a nice 1920 by 1080 slideshow and we'll give it a name. Let's call it memories and click OK. The program is going to generate our slideshow as an MP4 and store it on our hard drive. Now, earlier versions of Premiere Elements would output your slideshow in a format that is then editable in Premiere Elements. This slideshow creator outputs your movie then as a finished MP4 and you can use it as media in your project, but you can't really do much editing to it in Premiere Elements. We'll show you in just a moment. So let's let this go ahead and prepare. Just take a moment or two. And there we go. Our slideshow has been exported successfully. And now we can go back over to Premiere Elements and we can import that file into our project. Do that. I'm just going to go to add media and select files and folders and browse to that folder. Or I can just go to project assets. This is my favorite shortcut and just double click on a blank spot. And that will also open up the browse window. So let's go down. We'll open up our slideshow. There is our memories movie. Then we add it to our timeline. And there we go. Now, like I say, we can't do much to it here. We can't break the slideshow apart and do any tweaking of the special effects or transitions here in Premiere Elements. We have only a finalized finished MP4, but you can use that as media in any video project now. And this very nice slideshow that was created by the organizer becomes a, a very nice looking piece of media that you can use in Premiere Elements. Now, if you want to know more about this wonderful program or all the potential in this program or the four different ways to make a slideshow in Premiere Elements, you want to check out the tips and tutorials we have at MoviePix.com. If you want to know every single thing about Premiere Elements, check out the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon.